Hi guys, in this video we will discuss how to create a numpy array of zeros using numpy.zeros function. In python numpy module provides a function zeros to create a numpy array of given shape and type but all values in the array will be initialized to zero. It accepts three different arguments. First one is the shape. That is the shape of the numpy array which we want to create. It can be a single integer if you want to create a 1D numpy array filled with zeros or it can be a sequence of integers if you want to create a multidimensional array filled with zeros. Second argument is the data type. It's an optional argument. By default, all the elements inserted in the numpy array will be of float type like 0.0, .0. and third argument is the order order in which we want data to be stored in the multi-dimension array like it should be row wise or column wise by default it's column major so let's use it to create a numpy array first of all we need to import the numpy module as np then we can call the zeros then we can call the zeros function and pass a single argument like 5 it will return a numpy array filled with zeros or we can assign it to a variable also now you can confirm it by printing the type of the variable it should be nd array so it created a numpy array of zeros but as we didn't provide it the data type so by default all the elements are float are the all the elements are of float data type so if you want to create a numpy array of integer zeros then you can pass dt type equals to np.int64 so it will create a numpy array of zeros as integers so we saw how to create a one dimension numpy array filled with zeros now to create a two dimension numpy array what we can do we can pass a sequence of integers like here suppose we want to create a matrix of like 4 by 5 filled with zeros and zeros should be of integer data type so we will pass int 64 here so it will return a matrix of 4 by 5 or you can say a two dimension numpy array of size of four rows and five columns but all values in this numpy array are zero so similarly we can create a numpy array of three dimensional also suppose I want to create a two comma four comma five in integer so it will return a three dimensional numpy array but all the values will be initialized to zero so this is how we can create a numpy array of zeros using numpy.zeros function Thanks for watching and do subscribe our channel for more videos like this.